Hi everyone, as requested by some of my followers, here is a short video explaining what is benzoyl peroxide, what is its mechanism of action in the treatment of mild to moderate acne vulgaris, and how to use it. I am Dr. Gator Bedevitas and I'm a board certified dermatologist. I try to post one video a week all about the skin and skincare, also product ingredients, procedures, and treatments. So if you're into that, I invite you to click the subscribe button and maybe even the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok at Irene Gale, where I post similar content about the skin. Now, if you've watched my video all about the treatment of mild to moderate acne, Benzoyl peroxide is one of the first-line topical medications in the treatment for mild to moderate non-inflammatory acne, meaning yung mga comedones or blackheads and whiteheads, and mild to moderate inflammatory acne composed of papules and pustules. Benzoyl peroxide is an oxidizing agent that is highly lipophilic and is able to easily penetrate the stratum corneum and enter our pilosebaceous follicles. The degree of penetration is dependent on the benzoyl peroxide concentration. On application, it rapidly degrades to hydrogen peroxide and benzoic acid that in turn releases oxidative free radicals. Now, this is very important in understanding its mechanism of action. Its mechanism of action in the treatment of acne are the following. Benzoyl peroxide has antibacterial properties. It is said to be directly toxic or lethal to microorganisms including your cutibacterium acnes due to the formation of highly reactive oxygen species that oxidize bacterial cell membrane proteins, unlike our antibiotics which cause changes in bacterial structure, enzymes, and or nuclear and cytoplasmic proteins. So ito yung reason kung bakit yung BPO has not been associated with treatment resistance even if it's used alone or for an extended period of time. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, again because of this release of reactive oxygen species by benzoyl peroxide, which supposedly inhibits the release of reactive oxygen species by neutrophils in our pilosebaceous follicles. Now, this prevents the release of inflammation-inducing signals, which may indirectly prevent inflammation within our tissues. Another mechanism of action is its being comedolytic and keratolytic. Benzoyl peroxide is also a keratolytic or something that softens, breaks down, and helps in the shedding of the outermost layers of the skin, and a comedolytic or something that prevents the formation of and removes existing comedones or blackheads and whiteheads from the skin. Studies show that 5% benzoyl peroxide also regulated sebum excretion rate, contributing to the reduction in the obstruction or blockage of our pilosebaceous follicles. And lastly, it is said to have wound healing properties. Now, how is benzoyl peroxide used in the treatment of acne lesions? It can be used as monotherapy for mild to moderate acne. In a randomized double-blind study, 153 patients with mild to moderate acne were instructed to apply either 2.5, 5, or 10% BPO in gel formulation or a vehicle gel twice a day for 8 weeks. All BPO formulations led to significant improvement in reduction of lesions versus the vehicle gel. However, BPO 10% resulted in more side effects like redness, peeling, and burning sensation compared to the lower concentrations. It can also be used in combination with topical antibiotics, for instance, like your clindamycin or erythromycin, which is said to increase efficacy while reducing adverse reactions and antibiotic resistance, and with adapalene, which enhances its anti-inflammatory and comedolytic effects. Now, what should we watch out for when using benzoyl peroxide? Using benzoyl peroxide can cause irritation, redness, scaling, and itching, but are often concentration formulation dependent. Meaning, start ka muna with lower concentrations and choose a vehicle na bagay sa skin type mo. For example, if you have oily skin, washes and gels are preferred, whereas if you have dry to combination skin, a cream-based one might be better. Also, because of its oxidizing capability, it may cause bleaching of clothes and even your hair. In addition, benzoyl peroxide should not be combined with ingredients that are sensitive to oxidation, such as your tretinoin and l ascorbic acid. Benzoyl peroxide has been used since the 1960s in the treatment of acne and is considered to be safe, effective, and cost-effective
active and is likely to continue to be an important part of acne vulgaris treatment. Now this ends another short video on benzoyl peroxide. I hope everything was clear. But if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them the best I can. And as always, if you like this, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate it. Thanks again and see you guys next time. Bye!